you get across the history of Indigenous people in this country as the First Nations people, for such a long time we have always been asking for uh, a voice in our own affairs. We all know that uh, the statistics, the jails, the young jails are full of young black men and the health system is overrun by sick majority black people with preventable disease. Um, at home in the Cape, we have a large number of youth and young children with uh, uh, a disease that's been eradicated in, in first world countries. Um, rheumatic heart disease. Our, our, our communities are, the numbers for rheumatic heart disease is just escalated and we don't have government's insight into or, or systematic changes in order to combat a preventable disease in a first world country. And we're requesting the things such as the health issues of indigenous people and incarceration rate that we be consulted. We have non-indigenous representative and people who never walked in our shoes or understand the internal struggles that we've had for such a long time in this country to be part of the solution. We as a community have seen firsthand what happen when you are outside the system and when you are outside the institutions that govern the society. So the number of our young people now in the criminal justice system is just alarming. And that is because we are never part of decision-making processes, especially when it's come to delivery of the programs to the families and to the young people. That's what I advocate for every day. So I was working for an organization, uh, a non-governmental organization, for more than nine years, and my boss was an Aboriginal woman. And I was working for Aboriginal services. And we've done a lot of work in that area, in different prisons, different schools, and different areas across Australia. I know firsthand how decisions have been made on behalf of the Indigenous Australians. And today, we have a chance to make sure that we place them at the center of their decision-making processes. And when things are actually uh, systemic, you know, this is about institutions, there's no accountability. We want to make sure that those institutional reforms start within the institutions. The constitutions, the agencies, the organizations. So it needs to start here all the way down in order for us to see some practical change. So that is why this is important. There's nothing to be fearful about. It's about empowering the local families, local communities to be in charge of their own challenges. We need to give the responsibilities to the families, to the local communities, because they understand their problems and we need to listen to them. So we've tried many things over the years and nothing worked because we have never genuinely included indigenous people in the decision-making processes. And that's what this is all about. It's not going to change how Australia is governed because there's that fear out there that something is going to change as soon as people vote yes. It, it's not going to change our system of government. It's not going to change Australia as a parliamentary democracy. The political system will remain the same. This is about empowering the local communities, our First Nations people, and we've seen what's happening there. Is there anybody who is happy? Australians are very generous people, and nobody is happy to see a large number of indigenous kids in jail. It doesn't benefit us. Nobody is happy to see that gap in terms of education, in terms of health, and you name it. So it's not in anybody's interest. It is in our best interest as Australians, regardless of where we come from, for indigenous people to be as, as the same as everyone else in our country. It has simple as that. It's not about making anybody else better than the other. It's being equal and it's looking after each other, and it's the same generosity that they extended to the migrant to come to this country. We came here because Australians are generous, and they took us in so we can build our lives again. So we are asking for the same generosity, so we are all equal.
and our indigenous people, if the gaps still so wide, it costs each and every one of us in one way or another. So we've got to do something. Thank you.